Hi, everybody. I'm Ani, creator and inventor of the Jewel Tool. And on today's show, I am going to show you guys how to polish resin or epoxy. Now, the same steps I'm about to use can be used for polymer clay. So if you have here acrylic, resin, epoxy, polymer clay, anything in the plastic kind of family, these are the steps you're going to use to get a high polish. Now, if you have a stone, if you're doing inlay and you cover it with resin, you follow these steps, plain and simple. So I'm going to take you guys through the steps really quick, and we're going to polish a piece. So come on on, come on on, come on and look what I'm doing. I don't even know. Okay, so I have a piece right here, you guys. And you can see it's not polished. I actually made it worse and ground it even more. So this piece, to get it nice and polished, micro finishing films, what's happening? Oh, okay. So I'm going to use the following abrasives. And these come in a kit. It's called the resin and polymer clay kit. So let me show you guys this. Hey, everybody, we're filming this live, but this video will be posted to YouTube. So here we go. So it comes in the coarse, the medium, the fine, and the very fine. Okay, you guys, these are 3M micro finishing films. Now, these have the white soft cushion on the backing. These white cushions are great for when you're working on something that's domed or round okay if you have something that has sharp edges you see if it's sharp corners that's when you use the micro finishing films that are on a hard backing well not a hard like the cushion the black cushion pad so if you guys can see i have my micro finishing films on here with the black bump on cushion in between so if you're going to be working on sharp corners or anything that has, you know, a sharp corner, these are the wheels you need to use. If you try to attempt to work on a sharp corner with the soft cushies, let me show you what's going to happen. You see the soft cushy, you see how it's soft? Well, guess what will happen? You will lose an abrasive. It will bend at the edge. So if you have any abrasives that are bending at the edge, know that you are using this for the wrong purpose. You cannot use this on this, on the sharp corner. You have to mainly keep this for round or domed pieces. And we, we specify that on the website. There's a domed and a round version. And then we're going to follow with the buff. So we're going to use one with compound and one do not use with compound. So in that, we'll pretty much polish this. So let's go ahead and use the, I'm going to use the 15 micron, which is, it would con be considered as the fine. See, it's the orange one. You see, it says 15 micron, real 3M products, guys, here. So let me go ahead and videotape this. Video, Videotape or video. Yaro's making fun of me. I don't know what you call it, Yaro. So I'm going to sand the whole thing down. So you run this at slow speed. And look, if you don't remember, we write on the disc. It says slow speed. So I'm doing this. And these are also available in the flat tops. So do you guys see how I can just... Do you see how I can see it? So you just glide back and forth. No pressure needed. Do you guys see that? Oh, it's just lovely. Get that very corner. See that right there? See how that works? I'm going to flip that around, work on the other side. So we're just sanding it all nice and even. So if you have epoxy or resin, this is the method in which you work so get that very edge get clean up those edges there we go all the way around all the way around people here we go 
clean up those edges. They're all lumpy and bumpy. And you can switch it up. Also change it from this direction. Make sure it's all sanded uniform. Left to right. And when I do left to right, I don't do it fast. I kind of do it slow to make sure I'm sanding. You know what I mean? You don't want to skip the do da. So there we go. That should do it. So that's that's this step right here. You see how nice and smooth and even we got it? It's a little piece right here. Let me smooth that down. That should do it. Perfect. You guys see that now? So this is at the fine stage, okay? That was the fine. See that? So now we're going to move to the very fine, okay? So we're going to move to the very fine. Let me get it ready here. I think my very fine is kind of old, but you get the idea. So very fine right there. Again, running this at slow speed. It's no need to run this at high speed. So right here. And if you need to mark it, it would be nice to like, you know, grab a little Sharpie, if you will, if you need to see where you're going. You know what I mean? A little just to make, you know, a reference contact point. To make sure you kind of covered every area and you're just gonna you're gonna notice that this stage is gonna take you to like almost a sheen i want to say like a pre-polish if you will you'll see you'll see the difference right now and then from this stage we will go to a high polish hold on there we go so you guys see how there's like a little bit of a sheen coming up right now? You see almost like a polish. So I'm going to flip it around and we're going to kind of double duty. So the whole idea is, you guys, you don't work on the edge. You guys notice how I'm not working on the edge. If you work on the edge, you guys, this will cut a groove into it. So don't work on the edge. So stay mainly in the center area and rock and roll people do you know what i mean there we go rock and roll so i'm gonna roll that should do it oh wow if i had feel a vision you could totally feel how smooth it is and if your abrasive starts to kind of fade away Work more in the center. Do you guys see? Mine is really old. I, I'm telling you, my abrasive, I think, is like, I want to say three years old. <laughs> it's so old. So now let me just do the very edges. And then we're going to polish it with the buffs right now. So you guys see how smooth that looks now? You see that? Nice and even. And then we're going to go to... The used with compound, mine is really old. I actually like it as it gets old. It kind of becomes a little bit more uh, stiffer as it wears down. So it kind of works as a nice little, you know, sander. So I do like it being a little stiff because it works as a sander. Look how old this is. So I run this at high speed, okay? So high speed, and I'm going to take a clean piece of my jewel tool compound and give it a good, don't be cheap. Give it a good round, you guys. Okay. Because this is going to give you that smooth pre-polished finish. So look, watch. So I'm not pushing hard into it. So I'm just going to hold it there and kind of like allow it to glide over. Don't push hard. If anything, movement is the key here. Movement. Okay. Let me show you guys what it looks like as I'm doing it. You guys see that? So it, what it's doing is it's giving you the finest. See that? It's giving you the finest pre-polish ever known to man. Finer than any sandpaper that can provide. You guys see that? Woo! It's looking good. Okay, so now if you feel as though you need some more uh, compound, apply it, guys. Okay, apply it. Don't be cheap. You know, your buff needs some help there. Give it some, you know, grease there. It's not grease, but you know what I mean. So I think I pretty much got everywhere. Let me do the center one more time. Make sure you see how I'm fluid 
always moving you guys don't stay in one spot if not you're gonna create a groove so let's clean up the sides oh yeah bravery oh my heavens you guys can already see this happening huh okay so there so already we're there okay pretty cool huh take a look you guys this is live tv okay so now i'm gonna go to the do not use with compound do not use with compound what did i say do not use with compound so do not use with compound run this at high speed now this is the secret you're just going to lightly i repeat lightly touch don't push if you push the pushing police will come and get you <laughs> that even made me laugh uh yeah okay just want to show you guys how ridiculously polished that is now so there's no compound on this because there it says do not use compound you can uh, i was using my jewel tool compound but listen you guys if you're lazy and your scratches are not the best you can use the scratch away compound i promise you you can use it so here we go um yeah uh you guys see this Let, let's analyze this okay let, let's go ahead ring around the rosy okay ring around the rosy i need you to follow this light Do you guys see that light following this tells you the surface is nice and even let me mesmerize you all follow the light guys follow the light and buy a jewel tool i'm kidding <laughs> so here you go you guys see that really nice all the way to the very edge you see how even the light follows the edge <gasps> guys this is beautiful now if you want to work on the back, you guys, let's say I wanted to flatten this. This one I did actually back in the day. I flattened it to a certain level. Do you guys see that? Um, if you want to do that, please remember, we have what we call our flat top discs. These go directly on the spindle, but allow you to do nice flat surfaces. I'll do a quick example, but they're the same abrasives that I was just using. So it'd be the same process that you use. Okay. So for example, let's say I want to sand something down. This is where the course would come into play. You guys see the course. So what's nice is you just pop it on the jewel tool and twist. Did you get a side view of that, Yaro? What? Oh, so here you go. You just put it on, twist, and that's all. Okay, so like I have a piece that is not flat at all. You guys see this? It's just a random piece that I got. It's not flat at all. So if I want to flatten this, I'm just going to hold it right here. Get that yarrow. Let me put my fan on. And I'm just going to hold it like so and sand it nice and even. Do you see that? And so now this will get me a nice really even flat surface oh my effortlessly like my back isn't hurting my hands aren't hurting i could see everything everything's flying away from me it's lovely and look at that wow you see that so this was before like it's not this was the other side this is this is the back side but look at how beautiful the colors pop see that nice and flat see that nice and flat really nice and so again you would take this you guys and it's really easy if you want to these are non-loading so if you want to clean these just rinse it with some water and you'll be good to go so that was the course this is the medium you guys and you would just go down the the steps Hold on, let me shoot my camera like this. There we go. Okay, so here we go. So, so remember, this is the medium, you guys, the medium. 
you guys seen it says slow speed and you just hold it right there and just start it up and i'm just running at slow speed let's get a nice little sand on this really quick so the first one did pretty much a lot of the leg work whereas this one is just lightly sanding it and you're done and you can see how smooth it is oh my goodness so beautiful you guys see the colors so nice and crisp and so then you would go to the fine here we go i actually used metal on this not that long ago so i might kind of clean it up a little kind of clean up some of the metal you see that these are my silky brushes these are great for cleaning your abrasives or jewelry so I'm going to use the fine and we're going to sand this. Just run this at slow speed, you guys, and wait till you see what's going to happen. So this would be mainly for like the flat areas. You know what I mean? You can, oh my goodness, you can see the colors popping. Look at the colors popping already. And like you can even do the sides, you guys. Which camera am I on? Yeah. You can even do the sides on this. You guys see that? Super easy. But I just wanted to show the back. So right now that's the fine. And then we're going to hit it with the very fine. Very fine. If I can find the hole. And just hold it right here. I like to start it sometimes. And then it's so nice. They run so nice and true. They go on and off. Super easily no issues there oh my heavens so pretty i'm gonna oh it's so smooth you guys you don't even know there we go okay so from here i'm gonna actually use my felt wheel because i totally forgot we have the felt wheel with this and then i'll hit it with the buff because it's so flat you guys look at that you see how smooth that is so because it's so flat see it's a little shiny okay i'm gonna use my felt wheel now granted i have some metal on here i i recommend that you have one for felt and you have one for uh, metal so i'm gonna put my jewel tool compound on this your felt one for well, one for working on stones, polymer clay, resin, all of that stuff, and then one for working on metal. So I'm going to run this at slow speed. Look. So I'm going to run this at slow speed. Okay. So I'm going to run it at slow speed. I'm just going to let it glide. I repeat, do not push. Again, if you push, the pushing police are going to come and get you. You know, we used to scare your kids back in the day and you would say, the boogeyman is going to come. Well, this is the same thing. The, pu the pushing police will come and get you. I will send them for you. So don't push. Just let it glide. The lighter the touch, the remember, you don't have to push. This is why we have a motor attached to the jewel tool to remove the work. Do you know what I mean? Are you guys wait to Okay. Okay. Here we go. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see that? Are, are you guys seeing this? How smooth and amazing this is? Can, can you guys see the reflection? I got a ref, I got a reflection from about with my eye. You guys see that little sheen? So it's going to get more with the buff. You guys see that? I'm going to hit it just one more time for good measure. Okay. Kind of get in the center a little bit more shinier in the center where there's no compound you know and look at that you guys see the sheen in this hold on yeah why can't i show sheen i can't get a good uh, pop of light hmm what camera this camera it's so flat there's no light to reflect no that's not good awkward where am i i'm so lost you guys 
However, I, I see a shine, but I don't see my camera. Over here. So I'm going to use the buff to polish. Can you get a shine? Can you see it? It pops really quick. Remember, it is so flat, you guys. There is no room. I just need one shot of light. Ugh. I know. All right. So let's go ahead and polish it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same thing. I'm going to use, again, use with compound. And again, use without compound. You guys with me? Do not use with compound. However, I'm going to tell you, if you, I didn't want to say this, but if you guys have a pink magic buff and you guys have one allocated for uh, stones and metal, like have two, one dedicated for metal and one for stones, this also polishes beautifully. I'll show you how that worked on the previous one I worked. So use with compound. We're going to do that real quick, real quick. Okay, here we go. Now we're just going to lightly, lightly, lightly touch it. Just a quick little zippity doo da. Not much. Okay, we're not going to do much. Because it was already pre-polished. Okay. Oh, I see it coming up. I didn't plan on doing this, but this is like a bonus video. All right, so there. Can you guys see some kind of shine popping up? Can you see it? Do I get a... Can you see it? Anything? Anybody? What, Yarrow? Yarrow says rotate it. Okay, I'm going to rotate it. Okay, well, I'm going to use it right now with no the other buff, with no compound, and see how that works. Okie dokie. Right? It's so hard. Right, Nicole? Hello. I, I, I'm I trying to show it. It's so Okay, anyways. It's nice and smooth. Let's go ahead and get a nice polish. Woo! It's so pretty. So right here. And then we're going to use the one that says, do not use with compound. This is, do not use compound. Run this at high speed and just hold it there. Hold it there. Hold it there. Hold it there. No pushy, pushy. Movie, movie at this stage, you guys. Movie, movie. Oh, okay. Please tell me you guys can see that shine. Just glide. The objective here is glide to the left. Lord, circular motion. However you want to do it, but just no pushy, pushy. So what you're relying on is the little ends of the cotton fibers to do all the polishing work. So just let it glide. The more you hold it there, the, lo the better the hot polish will be, you guys. I promise you. But you've got to just keep moving light touch. If you push, you're going to melt and destroy your piece. How about that one? Can you guys see that? Can they see this? Here you get a better angle. If you see that shine. There we go. That It's so flat, you guys. It Look, that tells you how dead flat it is. That means there's no reflection. It's like boom, boom. Like the ref, there's no curve. It's such a flat polish that it's like, it's like a mirror. It's true. I'm trying to catch. Oh, this is instruction. I forgot. It's, uh -huh. it's our live show. So you guys, hold on. Let me get my final shot. Okay, there you go. All right, guys, so one thing I want to show you is the pink magic buff. You understand? We did flat. We did domed. Oh. All right, so let me show you the pink magic buff real quick, Yarrow. So everyone loves polishing stones and resin. I just want you guys to know if you run this slow, okay, if you guys run this slow, all you do is just hold it here 
and let it just polish the resin like you don't understand you guys if you thought that was polished it's going to get even more higher polished it's like ridiculous the shine that it gives i put some here too it's amazing i don't know what this thing is made out of anymore it's even confusing me there we go Can you see that? Like as if it couldn't get any more polished. That's resin. So this would fall into the same category, you guys, as resin, polymer clay, acrylics, you know, acrylics, um, polymer clay, resin. What else did I say? Epoxy, epoxy, glue. If you want to polish glue, let me pause this. You know, come to mama. <gasps> so yeah, there's, I have, run it slow. Run it slow. I can't get that light. So hard. So hard to catch a flat. Apparently my lights are not set up. Okay, well, I'm trying. So it's shiny. There you go. Okay, so there you go. All right. Yes. So, you guys, I used the polymer clay. Uh, I used both. I used two different kits. I used the polymer clay and resin kit for domes pieces because that had the white soft cushion in between. If you have sharp corners... You know, or like, you know, a, a sharp corner, use the kit that is for flat pieces. It specifically says for flat pieces. And, but the one I used to create this really nice flat surface was our, uh, was our micro finishing film flat to top discs. And these are very new. We just introduced them like a minute ago, honest to goodness. And so these are the flat top discs. They come in a set of four. There you go. With all four grades. Yeah, so all of this information will be in the description. Now, I shoot videos pretty much throughout the week. They're live. So I just want you guys to know this was filmed on a live show off of my Facebook page on Jewel If you have any questions or comments, please Post, don't forget to do a comment. I will answer. And if you want to see more videos, don't forget to click that notification button and subscribe. Did I say subscribe? I meant subscribe. Yeah, subscribe.